Hello and welcome back to another Smoke Signal Synopsis, where I preview what stories are on your October 1st, 2020 issue of Smoke Signals. Tribal Council Member Chris Mercier was nominated and re-elected as Vice Chair on September 16th. You can read about the Tribal Council actions like this one on the front page. Just a few pages down on page 11, you can see pictures of Council Members being sworn in. The tribe is offering assistance to tribal members who have been evacuated or had their homes damaged in the recent Oregon wildfires. The full story offers information on what resources are available, other assistance programs in Oregon, and the helpline number, which is 541-921-5345. Life is still saturated with news about the coronavirus, so here is our short coronavirus lightning round. With Willamina's classrooms moved to online distance learning, an important program has been on people's mind. How to ensure students eligible for free or reduced price lunches continue to get those meals. Although switching from cafeteria food to bagged lunch has gone smoothly in Willamina, you can read what challenges district leaders have faced with the Community Eligibility Provision Program. On the second page of the paper, we have a short story about Grand Ronde's Health and Wellness Center announcing another positive test for the coronavirus with ties to the Grand Ronde community. On page five, our staff writer, Daniel Frost, wrote about the video conferencing tool, Zoom, which has been used worldwide, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. This story highlights Zoom because it's the very tool tribal committees and council have been using to reach employees and members. You can read what Zoom is, its pros and cons, as well as if the tribe plans to continue to use this tool in the future. The Blue Heron property, which the tribe bought in 2019, has a new use. Tribal Council approved the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife to use a part of the property to store equipment, while the department works to remove stellar sea lions, which prey on endangered salmon, lamprey, and sturgeon at the Willamette Falls. You can read the full story on page 6. The Grand Ronde Health and Wellness Center is offering free flu shots to members and employees. I got my flu shot on Monday, and they gave me a pretty sweet Tweety Bird Band-Aid. You can call 503-879-2032 to make an appointment. On page 8, we have a story on the Legislative Commission of Indian Service Executive Director Mitch Sparks resigning after less than a year in the position. And lastly, the Smoke Signals Office has been riding a high this week after the Native American Journalist Association and the Oregon Newspaper Publishers Association announced their 2020 awards. You can read on page 12 and or watch our YouTube video to see the 11 awards Smoke Signals received from NAJA and the three awards from ONPA. And that was your October 1st, 2020 Smoke Signal synopsis. You can read the full stories now in the PDF version of the paper online at smokesignals.org, or you can wait for your print edition, which is coming to you soon. You can also follow us on all of our social medias to see the stories that we post every week. I'm Kamaya, the social media digital journalist for Smoke Signals, and this has been your Smoke Signal synopsis.